In this video, we share over 25 years of best practice experience on deep hole wedging and step-by-step -step guidelines to the preparation and installation of a zero-trip wedge. We recommend when setting up over a dormant borehole that requires wedging, the reaming core barrel should be lowered to 50 meters below the kick point to check the gauge and structure of the hole is good. Flush for one to two hours with clean water to remove any cuttings. On active boreholes, the driller's knowledge is key to the suitability of the hole for wedging. We insist on using the reaming core barrel to drill past the wedges, as we have no issues afterwards with flat-faced bits passing the wedges. We also insist on reaming out the navy section of the hole with the reaming core barrel for the smooth transition to the new daughter and granddaughter holes, etc. New reaming shells should always be used when starting new potential mother holes. Prep work on the surface involves three items. One, the reaming core barrel. Two, the dropping mechanism in the core barrel. Three, the split zero trip wedge. One, the reaming core barrel. A four meter reaming core barrel is to be used with a tapered angled bit either with a short or long shell that is currently in use in the borehole. The outer locking back end should contain a tang for wedge orientation. Coring tubes should be adjusted to appropriate length. Two, the dropping mechanism in the core barrel. The dropping mechanism is made up of three chrome threaded bars, a dump valve, and an inner back end assembly with a quad latch retriever system. Ensure the quad latch back end moving parts are working freely. Ensure the dump valve piston is free and ore rings are good. Always clean after use and grease. Assemble the dropping mechanism as per schematic and then insert it into the core barrel and align a mark on the chrome bar at the front of the bit with the orientation receiver on the inside of the quad latch. Lift the core barrel with the aid of a short rod sub on the main hoist rope over the head. Three, the split zero trip wedge. The zero trip wedge now comes in two halves for shipping and handling purposes. So the two halves push together freely in alignment and are locked in place with two Allen key bolts. The wedge is now ready to be lifted into the drill head for assembly to the dropping mechanism in the core barrel. This is done with the wire line retriever and the wedge spike coupler. A sand trap is connected to the wedge before joining the dropping mechanism and wedge together and aligning the face of the wedge with the mark on the chrome bar. A lock nut is tightened and the wire line retriever is now released from the wedge. We are now ready to lower it into the hole with the main hoist rope. The rod sub that was used for lifting the core barrel is now replaced with the next drill rod. Please use the quad latch wrench supplied to clamp the quad latch while connecting the next drill rod. The hoist plug has to have a pressure release outlet for lowering the rods. Never lower the rods at full winch speed. Survey as normal, but use the three central stabilizers on the camera rods in order to lock into the quad latch retriever. Rotate the rods with a wrench to the desired azimuth and survey again to confirm desired position. To set the wedge, turn on the water pump to max blow-off point, ideally 1200 psi. Once pressure is reached, raise the head slowly until the hydraulic force breaks the bar at its designated weak point. Now that the wedge is set, take note of its exact depth for future reference. Now you need to remove the dropping mechanism by changing the retriever to the quad latch retriever supplied. Lower the quad latch retriever and remove the dropping mechanism from the core barrel. Then replace with your inner tube and you are ready to drill past the wedge. Care must be taken while lowering the dropping mechanism on surface so it does not detach from the retriever prematurely. <laughs> 